still awake late night mega here last time we created odric a dwarf are you ready for your first match? dwarf noble actually the son of and the king one begin. of the like the middle this child of the king proving, fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Ozomar for the honor of house i do and we're participating in a proving that was for our honor, which is basically a one-on-one -on -one gladiator fight. All those proper nouns. Oh, hi there. Uh, I'll honor you upside the head. <laughs> I kind of want to say that, but you know, I'm going to be... I said I'm going to be... I don't have a reason to, to be rude to these people. Although, what we're about to do is kind of rude. So, Pommel Strike, it's a... Uh, it works a lot like the Shield Bash ability, knock back a character. Let you get a couple shots in. Has a little bit of a recharge time. And we'll just use that. We're, we're good. We got 84 experience from that. That's awesome. The winner is Lord Iduken. And so here we can. Oh, so that's what. <laughs> that was exciting. I had the whole left half of the arena cheering for you. You're popular with the crowds. Awesome. That was quite a fight. Alair Bimo is no slouch with that hammer. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yes, I am, because I have an axe to grind. Who is my next me. opponent? Hey, woman, your highness. She's a tenacious fighter. Now, the way they're acting... I kind of want to take the second option, just to see what he it says. It's not my idea. Lady Helmy was most insistent. I did not expect her to actually win her first match. Will you fight So her? I guess they kind of have this view that... You know, women seem kind of lesser or shouldn't be doing things. I'm like, why not? Uh, the, the actual response I wanted there was like... This it was more along the lines of, no, no, I'm glad that you let a woman fight in this, you know? You know, equality. If they want to compete in this, let them. There's no honor in fighting a woman, and to yours. I'm not going to be rude to her. I don't have a reason to. Fight. Enemies ahead. Enemies ahead. There's only one. As you say. So we'll do the same thing. Just a uh, pommel strike. And then X smash fever here. You'd think swinging around this giant axe would do a little bit more damage. Can I just finish this? There we go. The winner is Lord Iduken. Who didn't see that coming? Uh, most of the battles that in these intro Many were scenes are pretty easy and straightforward. Sir Blackstone is your next opponent. And are fairly difficult to, to lose. I mean, like, I'm level one here, one and these the people are losing to me. Cast. He achieved glory in close combat assault in the deep roads. Oh, cool. Then let us begin. I like how he's, like, telling me a little bit more about this my opponents before we fight him. Proving. It gives a little bit of, uh, character to these people. While they have their 15 seconds of fame here. Um, you're making it. Old men don't frighten me. I'm gonna throw that right back at you. Fight! Yeah, take that. He's got a little bit more health. Oh, we're 
how did we miss? We're swinging a giant axe. I like how our weapons kind of clashed there. That was neat. How am I missing? Yeah, like that clash. Knock him down again, then. This guy's actually being a bit more of a challenge. There we go. The winner is Lord Idukan. And the more I play through this intro, the more I think that I have played through this intro well previously. But like I said, it's been such a long time since I've even played this game in general. Brandlin Ivo is your final opponent. He too has had many victories today. Oh, many victories. Are you ready to face him? Final opponent. Or will you rest first? Uh, I'm ready. But what can you tell me about him? He is a decorated fighter who prefers unusual weapons and rarely fights with the same techniques twice. Interesting. Ivo is relatively inconsequential, but Franlin may change that. He's expected to take a full command of his own soon. Very good. This is a glory proving. But I do know there are some intros that I have not done uh, in this game. I think that I'm pretty sure that Dalish one I did not do. That was that was new. And I'm also pretty sure I did not do the other dwarf, uh, the dwarf commoner intro. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. Um, glory for the one who can take. I guess that's the best answer. Or I'll take the first one. Okay. The victor is champion. Fight. Enemies ahead. Very well. And we'll take him down the same way. Oh, no, yes. no shield pummel. You activate that, I, I pummel strike you. So he's a sword and shield user. Although that is a really interesting looking blade he has. I like it. Stop missing with the giant axe. See, this is another reason I like mages. Their spells don't really miss. I love the music, too. It so fits the theme of what's going on here. All right, we'll talk to you again. Congratulations, Fran and Ivo is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen. You vanquished every warrior of note in today's proving. The ceremonial helm commissioned by your father for today's winner is yours. Cool. I won the helmet my father commissioned for the winner of the proving that was supposed to be for our honor, but we decided to participate in it. Every warrior here. Awesome. Alright, let's check out this helmet. So we got this helmet for doing this proving. What, uh... Proving helm, what does it do? Plus one willpower and plus one constitution plus armor bonus. I like it. I like it. We're do Oh my gosh. Uh, we are now What's Darth Odric. <laughs> My lord. Oh, good. That helmet's not appearing in these cutscenes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he's gonna tell me he can't take a break. Your wish is our command. Cause he's on duties from the king or whatever. So let's let's head back. And with that, I think. Now, first, when I came through here, of course, I ended up taking the path of progress first. But remember, we had that split path at the beginning of this before all these merchants and all this. And I'm like, well, I didn't take a left. I took a right. And then we found all of this stuff and the provings and that. 
So I want to take a left and explore the leftern side, the leftern, the leftern side of town. Although looking at the map, I'm already on the leftern side of town, the rightest side of town. <laughs> Royal Guard, you you seem like you're empty. And there immediately we're stopped by gates. Okay. I am at your service. Remove the, those gates. I want to explore the rest of. Orzammar. Oh, they're actually not going to let us do that in this intro here. Very well. And now we go into the throne room Look, here. The Grey Wardens are here. Grey Wardens are here, of course. We we know what's going to happen here. Go where the dark spawn of the greatest threat. Many thanks for your willingness to hear me. This person like wants to. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. Oh, we're already jumping into people wanting us to help them with their problems. Okay, what do you want? Coming before the assembly next week, and a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. What's the cause? The vote concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble. That he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. I mean, it sounds like a decent idea. I don't see what the problem is with it, but I'm betting this guy wants this past... Yeah, why are you so interested Those in this? on the surface are our lifeline. They facilitate trade with the surface. They're honorable and... Uh, Oh, There's someone you know it. that you want to. I don't care to. a whit for those who have wandered from the stone. My wife, however, is okay. a gem of a different color. She has a cousin, a useless sort, but she's quite fond of him. He joined a speculative venture to the surface, hoping to make his fortune, and went bust. Now he wishes to come home, but he cannot, for he has no house and would be castless. For my wife's sake, I take up his cause. Will you lend me your voice? Uh, what do you when need me to do? When your you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our surface brothers should be returned their noble rights. What could be more simple? Oh, and I don't get to tell you if I'm going to do that or not right now. Uh, do we want to do that? I am at your service. I mean... Okay, we know what's going to happen here. We've got we're playing as Odric. Great prosperity to our houses. And Duncan's here now. We're going to be going to the surface world. It'd be nice if we kind of break down some of those barriers and when we come back, we can still be considered nobility. The assembly of Kalsharak will respect the rule of Ozamar. Or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look, we have company to spare us further wrangling. A trust Vala, my son. How fine you look in your great-grandfather's armor. I hear you were declared champion of the Provings. <laughs> I suppose you were never one to sit by when something exciting was going on. Well, word got to you quickly. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? Sure. Yeah, I'm not going to take one of the snarky remarks, and <laughs> not with Very my well. dad, Let the king. Begin. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Iduka. Who would pose a question to the prospective We have, like, commander? the same hair. Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. I seek to know the prospect better. 
Lord Dace, head of House Dace, speak. Lords, ladies, my question concerns the plight of our wayward kid, the so-called surface cast. What does the Commander Prospect think is the proper place for these lost souls? Oh, we're, we're going right to this, aren't we? Uh, that's... Thank you, my lord. Yeah, we'll... I am satisfied. We'll and give him the answer no that, that he wanted. I don't... I, give you I know he's doing it more commander. for personal reasons, but it's something that's going to apply Tomorrow, to everyone, not him. I wonder if that's just going to come back to bite us in the butt somehow. But at the same time, I don't, I don't see why we shouldn't have that. But it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the deep roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the Brubins, or getting some rest in his rooms. Uh, what do you want with Trian? Don't question everything. Just go for the ancestors' sake. Oh, I just wanted information. All right, we have to go find our older, much snarkier brother. Hi, Duncan. Greetings, my lord Iduka. I would rather talk to you. It is an honor to meet you at last. He actually has a lot of Grey Wardens here with him. Uh, honor is mine. I've had the opportunity to recently meet with your father. He speaks highly of you. He says you may be the most skilled warrior in all of House Iduka. Why, thank you. So I guess we're getting I ready no to battle Darkspawn deserved. tomorrow. We need more Grey Wardens like you, and quickly. Even as the Darkspawn weaken here in Ozimor, they are stirring on the surface. A blight has begun. Soon the fight must go beyond the deep roads, lest the Darkspawn threaten all okay, the Okay, you just said it might mean a blight. Now you're saying that it is a blight. So how <laughs> well, are we actually we defining blight here? As the child of the king and heir after Lord Trion, your place is here. Uh, we'll see about that. I wish you luck in the deep roads tomorrow. Show the darkspawn the might of your people. All right. Um, I am at your service. May House Edukin grow. Not what I was trying to do. Okay. So. The general definition of a blight of Darkspawn by this game's terminology is usually Darkspawn just stay underground. So dwarves that being well living spawn. underground, they often fight with Darkspawn You're in the deep roads. So few young people will stand up for what they uh, But when the Darkspawn now start appearing the on the surface, Do excuse me. that's when a blight could arise. A blight would be like... Basically just a massive army of Darkspawn, commanded by uh, what we'll later learn is an Archdemon. And they'll tell us that there it can't be a true blight without an Archdemon. I am at your service, my lord. So, we'll delve more into that later. That's going to come after the intro, so I, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. But it helps to add some context here. So basically, when you start seeing Darkspawn on the surface, that's when you kind of have to consider that you're, like, either either about to be in a Blight, in a Blight, or, uh, like, on the verge of it. I just kind of said the same thing three times. Uh, doors we can't lock. I, I like how they have these holes drilled up. Like, there's, there's supposed to be light coming through there. Some way, somehow. Whatever, video game logic. I need to find my brother. Oh, brother, where art thou? Come here, because I have an axe to grind. Fortunately, markers on the maps can help me, but I will still proceed to get lost. This is my brother's room. This is where we found that one servant last time. 
And she's like, oh, no, no, no. I, let me run in here and then apologize to you for running in here. Really weird-like. Uh, but no, that's... <laughs> wrong brother. At first I was playing this, I was a little bit confused because I didn't fully catch on that Balin was uh, another brother. I thought I just had the one brother. Insufficient skill, can't open the treasure. Hey, dwarves play chess too. So you're a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our king father? Uh, he sent me to send you to him. Yeah, of course he right to the point. We must discuss strategy before tomorrow's battle. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like. But then get to bed. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. I agree. <laughs> Waiting for the right time to get rid of him. He's what I'm going to tell okay. you next won't make you any more fond of him. Uh, what do you have? Trian has begun to move against you. I never thought his much proclaimed honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy. Big brother, Trian is going to try to kill you. Really? Uh, that seems a little far fetched. Is it? Yeah, let's of his men, tell me more. Shocked. And it began to make sense. Trian's decided you're a threat to his taking the throne. Maybe he's right. I could refuse to discuss this. <laughs> that's that's kind of the response I want to go with. He fears what you are becoming in the eyes of the people. Yeah, so how am I a threat? Okay. the named prince, but only the assembly can proclaim a king. It would be unusual for the assembly to ignore the king's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Bimo became a paragon and king in one move from the assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case, but at least a half dozen times the assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Usually, it's the popular younger brother of an undesirable prince. Huh. Okay, so... Look at it from his but I'm not the one that's... You're trying to do this. It's just ever it's just kind of happening. You entered the provings held in your own honor just for glory and to please the crowds. If you win glory against the dark Well, maybe tomorrow, if Trian wasn't such a jerk to everyone, they might prefer the him heir. and be the okay with him being king. Will replace him on the spot. Did he ever consider that? The assembly will surely turn against him when father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. Okay, am I going to... Yeah, what's Since your angle Trian on this? Has shown that brothers can't always be trusted. I am next in line. If Trian succeeds in his plot against you, how long do you think I'll live? Fair point. Uh, what are you Permission suggesting? Permission to speak freely? Yes, of course. Trian would make a terrible king, but no one wants to say it. He has just enough backing in the assembly to make it ugly when your father dies, but not enough to become king. Killing him now makes your house stronger and saves a great deal of bloodshed later. That makes sense. Um, well, you know I what? Here's what we're going to do. I, I'm picking Tomorrow's this option. Is the time to do it. I'll find out the rendezvous and buy you the time to do what must be done. So this way, we so have a plan. For now, try to get and we can, we can back out of that. The Paragon smile down on you. Supposedly. I mean, maybe the, maybe the game won't let us back out of it, but... Um, we're going to go into this thing with a plan, and we'll respond accordingly. At least that, that's my general line of thought here. Ah, dwarven politics. Or any kind of politics, and really. His men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn. We cannot risk our own troops in there. Understood, Lord Haramont. We should be able to sense the Darkspawn and avoid them once the way is open. May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Come in! <laughs> 
Glory awaits! Balin, you and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Balin. Take your men and make ready. Aramont and I need to have words with your sibling. Good luck, my brother. Your father has a special mission for you. In the eastern deep roads, there is a secret door carved into the stone. Ooh. The door leads to a tie, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that tie, under the stones of the central room. We claim the shield, and glory will be yours. Sounds good. Uh, I'm supposed to do this alone. What else is it? What My else is in there? My father's writings speak only of the shield. There may be countless other treasures. But only the shield matters. Uh, nope, other you treasures matter to me too. Ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared. Because be I do kind of want money in this game. Meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? All right, signet ring. Open the door. Grab the shield. Yep. Very good. We're good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. Alright, this sounds like a plan to me. And this is the part where I remember, like, okay, maybe I did play this before. Because I remember getting lost in this hallway. Yes, it, it, I actually got lost in this hallway. And you know what? We're probably going to get lost in this hallway again. I want to get to the point where where we're supposed to enter and save there. But I'm like, okay, it's down this hallway. It's down this hallway is where we're supposed to start. Yeah, yeah. see, there's the people. There's the people. All right, so we're going to leave things off here. And next time, we're going to find out that we're actually lost in this hallway.